we have contacted all of our agencies across state government, uh, and as of now, uh, every agency has been ordered to uh, suspend doing any business with the Bank of America. The Bank of America received $25 billion in taxpayer money as part of the financial bailout. This is exactly and precisely the kind of thing that uh, isn't right when, uh, on the one hand, uh, powerful special interests get the help of taxpayer money to bail them out, the banks, and yet the purpose of that money was supposed to be to provide a line of credit to businesses like this to keep workers working and keep people employed. And yet the Bank of America has yet to step up and say that they're going to be helpful to this company and keep these workers working. So unless and until they do that, we, the state of Illinois, will suspend doing any business with the Bank of, uh, of America. And we hope that this kind of leverage and pressure will encourage the Bank of America to do the right thing for this business, take some of that federal tax money that they've received and uh, invest it by providing uh, the necessary credit to this company so these workers can keep their jobs. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Governor Rob Blagojevich has just been taken into federal custody. Governor Blagojevich has taken us to a truly new level. Arrested in the middle of what we're going to describe as a political corruption crime spree. Old-fashioned audacity coupled with a serious lack of style. If they don't perform, leap them. That's a quote. It reads like a David Mamet play. Cynicism and corruption. Astonishing. Quote, fire all those bleeping people. Get them to bleep out of there. The most amazing bleeping thing of all. Governor was released on his own recognizance. He still holds the power to make that Senate appointment. Some people are trying to take it out of his hands. The Illinois General Assembly should enact a law as quickly as possible calling for a special election to fill the Senate vacancy of Barack Obama. No appointment by this governor under these circumstances could produce a credible replacement. Quote, it's a bleeping valuable thing. It's bleeping golden. I'm just not giving it up for bleeping nothing. If you take an oath of office, if you don't carry out that oath of office, you need to do the right thing, and that is to uh, step aside. I am uh, saddened and sobered by uh, the news that came out of the U.S. Attorney's Office today. As this is an ongoing investigation involving the governor, I don't think it will be appropriate for me to comment. I had no contact with the governor uh, or his office, uh, and so we were not, I was not aware of uh, what was happening. If it isn't the most corrupt state in the United States, it's certainly one hell of a competitor. This guy's just a punk. He's an arrogant punk. He's a punk. Yeah, I'm tired just listening. <laughs> Can't use the other words that he used in the wiretaps. Right. Bleep them. Do you think that um, by cutting ties with Bank of America is going to be a arrest? Because, I mean, it happened like the day before. And that was something that I, you know, I've looked into it through and I thought, because it was the day after you got arrested. Do you think... We, th we have a theory, you know, it's, it's hard to prove, but it's a strange thing. Because, I mean, you could talk with the bankers, I mean, and we, we all know what happened to President JFK after he resisted the Federal Reserve. And I think, honestly, that after you resist the Federal Reserve and Bank of America, the next day you're arrested, it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, that just doesn't happen. No. But we ask ourselves that, and we're trying to figure out whether you can find that connection. Because it sure is a peculiar coincidence, you know? As soon as you started fighting the bank, yeah. there it goes. Yeah. Now, they did right by those workers. At least that worked out. Because I suspended business with them. Two billion dollars a year they came from and I would stop them. Um, but it was almost like they felt like, oh, you better stop this guy before other governors start doing this. And, you know, I'm, I'm all for Obama, but Obama's not meeting these bankers. They just gave him all their money. And he says, please give the money, lend the money to small businesses. Uh, I didn't say please, I just said, hey, you better do it, and we ain't doing business with you. And then they arrest me. Well, we thank you for standing up to those guys. Thank you. Thank you. And the weekend before, the so-called crime spree, these liars, right? It's all Bank of America, you know? And it's in my book, if you guys have a chance to read it. But in the book, I picked the senator, who I hate. Was gonna, but it was part of a deal to get jobs and health care, no taxes on people. I was going to hold my nose and make Madigan's daughter the senator. And Rahm Emanuel was cutting the deal. And our only issue with Matt Rahm was, he was saying, you got to take him on faith. And I said, fuck him, I don't believe a word that guy says. Pass it now, wow. and I'll hold my nose and make him a senator. Wow. wow. Okay? And I hate him. Yeah. That's... This whole thing's upside down. It is. But and the tape's proven. The I, I'm NBC not supposed guy, to talk about what's The on. NBC guy called him a conspiracy theorist. Just yeah. For asking that. Yeah. I was like, you know, I think there's something else going on. Yeah. Like all your conspiracy theorists. 
And one other thing I was going to ask you, would you support uh, H.R. 1207, a audit to the Federal Reserve? Because yes. I mean, the bankers are Absolutely. Like, awesome. Absolutely. I want to give you this DVD. It's called Fall of the Republic. It's a documentary by Alex Jones. It talks okay. a lot about the banker takeover and about what they're really doing behind the scenes. So if you could check yep. it out, I'd really appreciate it. You sure will. It. Um, you should thanks. be in there, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, look, I'm going to win this case because the truth is on our side. Okay, they're liars, they're making up charges, they're forcing people to lie. Some of the things they're doing are shocking, okay? But sooner or later, a lot of that's going to come out. And they can't hide from those tapes, they're going to try to. But they take my phones, and it sucks. But you know what? It's the best thing they did. Because the truth's on those fucking tapes, okay? And I'm the one saying, release them without the public here, okay? Now I'm, you know, I'm saying no. Time to time. I'm pissed off at these phony politicians. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He said, you know, said some shit, some bad words. And it, and it's not well, because we only saw that report in a couple stories, so when we heard you were coming here, we were like, we have to go talk to him and ask him, because you can't even find, it's so buried just trying to look it up. And, and the media just, just keep, keep, doesn't even touch upon that issue. No. Well, even the media who's here, the media bring it up and they're like, oh. I mean, I try to talk about it, they don't touch upon it. No, they call yeah. it. I'm like, this is something that answered me, because it's the day before. Right. You cut ties with big right. American. Yeah. You get arrested. Like, right. Yeah. Exactly. Never happened before American history. They come to a governor's house at six in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I used to be a prosecutor. And you know how you arrest somebody? That person's gonna. It's a threat to his or her community, or that person's gonna run away. That's it. Absent that, you don't arrest anybody. You just call our lawyers and say, make them come in. It was a show. It was a big show. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And violates the canons of ethics and the responsibility of prosecutors. Their job is to do justice. They're not supposed to just get somebody. They're supposed to do justice. If they see wrongdoing, go after it, okay? But don't try, try to make it, yeah. right? I write about that in my book, and, and it's the new politics today with these, old, these overzealous prosecutors. Part of what they wanted was shit on Obama. I mean, they lock you up, they do this shock and awe bullshit, they arrest everybody, okay? And then they sit you down and say, hey, you're a nice guy. You know, what do you, you want to work with you? What can you tell us about it? Oh, see. see yeah. Really? That's what they started asking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey, listen, I, I gave you a hard time about your Elvis yeah, thing, yeah, right. but I, I can't give you a hard time about, about uh, what you do. You've been doing a hell of a job with your radio show. Thank you. Uh, I've been listening Thank in you. on Sundays, Thank uncovering the corruption. Thank you. And um, do you think that because you're letting so many dirty secrets out the bag now that they're going to come down even harder on Maybe. you, or at least try to? Maybe. You don't care? I do care, but I mean, what's your choice? Yeah. When you're in a situation like I'm in, man, you just ride the truth. Yeah. What else you got? Yeah. We're doing a good job, man. I got the yeah. power of the yeah. federal government, these fucking abusive prosecutors doing what they're doing, forcing people to lie. A friend of mine took his life because he wouldn't say stuff they wanted him to say. So he, he did, did some, take his life? He took his life. Yeah, he took his life. Yeah, because they didn't, they took they didn't his say life. it like that. Fellas, we need to move along. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Thanks. Thanks. What's your name? My name is uh, Saad. How do you spell? S-A-A-D. Could you make it out to We Are Change Chicago? You guys are great. Oh, Thanks thank a lot. We're, we're trying to, we're trying to, uh, you know, we fight for justice. So, and we see, we see the other side of the picture. We're, we're going to spread. Yeah, I hope you get a hold of us. Is there any, I'll give him my phone number so he get a hold of me. Sat, sat. Thank you yeah. very much. Sati, S A T I. Do you have any comments on a Governor Ventura's new TV show? S A T I. Um, yes, sir. S A T I. I, I, I'm not uh, I'm not familiar with it. Okay, well, the, the second episode he did was on 9-11, and so since you got all the free time on your hands, yeah. I printed you a copy of this peer-reviewed paper. Okay. Uh, the title kind of sums it up, Active Thermitic Material Discovered in the Dust from the World Trade Center. Okay. So if you want to check it out, maybe with your free time, you can maybe voice okay. your opinion on a new the investigation, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks a lot, Good luck to you yeah, guys. Your DVD. We'll yeah. Yeah. If you might make that to We Are Change Chicago, feel free. Thank you for speaking with us, too. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. It's a very interesting story. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, keep it, keep, you know, stay, stay tuned, because, you know, a lot more is going to happen on this. Cool. You thank you. Yeah. Keep fighting this, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's good to have some insurance. Uh, Riley? Or just your name? Oh, too late. That's fine. <laughs> Is that right, Mike Riley? Yeah, that's fine. I was hoping to ask you uh, what's your opinion on this new uh, climate debate scandal that's going on right now. Um, some emails were revealed um, which said what the uh, climate colleges wanted to keep hidden. And basically it shows that uh, data was manipulated um, to support their agenda. Um, since you don't know about it, I guess, just uh, do you think something like that would um, warrant more debate about the issue before yeah, yeah, yeah. acting on it? Okay. Um, 
give us your information. Right. Okay, sure, sure. Our website is We're Change Chicago. We're Change Chicago. It's on there? Yeah, okay. Also, I wanted to give you a Steve Reviews cover. Good. I want to talk about you guys on my radio show. Thanks a lot. Can we take a... Let's get a picture. Picture? Okay. Yeah, let's make sure we talk about We're Change Chicago Sunday. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Come on, guys.